In this video, we are going to be digging in all the nitty gritties, everything that was said during the media briefing yesterday. And I'll be breaking it down to you from what Big Brother told us we are going to be expecting, from what I would like to see. And at the end of it, I would like you to drop me your comment down below in the comment section. What are those things that you would like to see in this new season of Big Brother? Do you want to see more of alliances? Do you want to see more shipping? You just let me know down below in the comment section what are your expectations of this Big Brother Niger season 9 that is going to be starting on the 28th of July. <laughs> 71 days, late night bus boots, unexpected friendship, jaw dropping moments, alliances that will keep you guessing, explosive drama. Shocking new twist. Guys, that is everything Big Brother organizers promised us for the new season of Big Brother, Big Brother Niger Season 9. The question now is, are they going to deliver on all their promises? We don't know. But one thing is for sure, on the 28th of July, 2024, 7 p.m. West African time, head on to African Magic Course, that is where men mount. Men mount on the 28th of July 2024. Men mount on African magic. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, I don't know what you are waiting for. I don't know what you are waiting for. Because you know, you know, whenever Big Brother calls, we hit to the Patreon call and we answer Big Brother. So this time around, Big Brother has called upon us. Big Brother has called upon his children. And then we are here to answer Big Brother. So if you haven't subscribed to this channel, just do it do it because one thing i'm going to promise you is you see this new season of big brother we're going to be working extra hard i am going to be bringing you just after just was was upon was was every nitty gritty that is going on inside that big brother house make sure that you are subscribed to this channel turn on your post notifications so you don't miss out i know most of you subscribe to my youtube channel because i go live but this season of big brother Big Brother has warned us, more teachers, Big Brother warned people using their content, people deliberately sharing their content, especially on YouTube, that if you do so, they will give you a copyright strike. And guys, you know, one thing with YouTube is they are very serious when it comes to copyright. So for the sake of not losing my YouTube channel, I'm not going to be going live as I used to. With that said, guys, I welcome you to today's video. In this video, we are going to be digging in all the nitty gritties everything that was said during the media briefing yesterday and i'll be breaking it down to you from what big brother told us we are going to be expecting from what i would like to see and at the end of it i would like you to drop me your comment down below in the comment section what are those things that you would like to see in this new season of big brother what are those minor details what are those things do you want to see more of alliances do you want to see more shipping you just let me know down below in the comment section what are your expectations of this Big Brother Niger season 9 that is going to be started on the 28th of July 2024. Guys, that's in two weeks' time. That is in two weeks' time. If you haven't resumed your subscription on DSTV, I urge you to do that now because as a fan, you are not going empty handed. Yes, that is one of the things Big Brother promised us. The fans are in it to win yes as a fan you get the chance to win a cool sum of one million naira 30 fans are going home with a sum of one million naira and guys you know what that means one million naira with this achieve is going to be a game changer yes it might not serve the huge purpose of alleviating hunger or anything but having one million in your account is something to boast of and the only thing you need to do is once big brother starts and you are a sub and you are a subscriber of DSTV. Make sure to go and lock in whom of all these housemates whom you think will be the winner of the season. And guys, talking about the winner, another thing that the organizers made us know is that this season, in as much as these housemates are coming in as pairs, only one person will be the winner. Yes, you heard that right. We are going to have one winner. And guys. Whomever that winner is, his or her life is changed forever. 
forever the person that will be the person that will be winning this season of big brother the, the person's life has changed why am i saying that in the big brother nigeria season nine the winner is going home with a cool sum of 100 million naira that's in cash 100 million naira in cash and you're asking yourself is it only 100 million no the person is winning 100 million naira in cash an innocent suv and other prizes guys for this season of big brother big brother niger season 9 we are having 20 sponsors guys you know what that means get closer let me tell you do you know what having 20 sponsors means that means that whoever is going is coming for this show whoever the house rate might be before the end of 71 days most of them are going to be smiling home. Most of them are going to be smiling to the bank. Here are some of the sponsors. I'm not going to list all 20, but here are some of the sponsors that will be sponsoring this BB Niger Season 9. The headline sponsor is Guinness. That's a sure banker. I know with Guinness, whenever it comes to the attacks, they'll bring the cookers. Guinness is one of the headline sponsors. Is the headline sponsor, sorry. Other sponsors like Techno Mobile, Airtels, Minof Ice, Aquafina, Indomie, Lush Hair, Pepsi, Rexona, and many other people are going to be sponsoring this season of Big Brother. This is in nine. Guys, I know they have promised that this will be an extraordinary season, that this is a season that like we've never seen before. And with other expectations, yes, some of them might be delivered, some of them might not be delivered. The only problem I have where they say that screen time won't be shared accordingly. I know a lot of us have been complaining, oh, my fave is not getting enough screen time. Oh, this person is not getting enough screen time. Oh, they get, they're always showing us this couple. They're always showing us this couple. This season, Big Brother Nigeria season 9, the organizers has already made it clear that if you are not bringing in the action, if you are not giving us something to talk about, if you are not making it what our why we won't be seeing you yes we won't be seeing you so if your plan is to go inside the house eat sleep and gossip make sure that you won't have any fun that is one thing that this organize that the organizers has promised us so the issue i have with this is now with that said sure guys this is nigeria we are talking about this is nigeria we are talking about with this kind of opportunity with this kind of armor given to this housemaid that will be going into the house, a lot of people, a lot of them are going to be causing unnecessary drama just to make sure that they keep getting their screen time. And do I have issues with it? No. Because it will make me come here and share more videos with you. But not everybody is out there. Not everybody trends on drama. So a lot of people, they try to take things on a lighter approach a lot of people they try to move in silence so you are telling me that if i'm that kind of person that likes to move in silence i won't be getting much screen time while other person is creating unnecessary drama but at the end of the day it's their show and in as much as we will be complaining they know what they are doing and they know how to do it one of the things they say again is the head of house game yes guys the usual head of house game where this housemate competes in their numbers to know who will be the reigning champion to guide them for the rest of the week. This season, they are turning things up. You know how when this housemate come into the house, Big Brother gives them one week of grace? Well, this season is not going to be like that. The organizers promise us that immediately the live show ends on African Magic. That we are going straight to Channel 198, where the 24-7 camera will be showing this housemate every day so immediately the live show ends head on to channel 198 on dstv or channel 49 on go tv because game will start immediately the show starts yes there's no more hey let's give them one week of grace no immediately the show starts this housemate are going to be competing for the head of house we don't know what the competitions are but here's my thought here's what i want you see this season I'm not giving you what my expectations are. This season, this house made are coming in pairs. Yes. And with that, we know what Big Brother is capable of. Because Big Brother has already told this house, has already told us that 
In as much as this housemaid are coming in pairs, only one person, one person is going to be declared the winner. We are not having winners. We are having only one person. So with that, Big Brother has the power to swap, replace, separate any pairs. Yes, Big Brother has the power to do that. Now, do I want to see that happen? Of course, I would like to see that because that is pure drama. Imagine coming in with your wife or coming in with your babe and then your babe is eyeing another man's babe. You know that song because your boo gets a boo, a boo, a boo. So just imagine coming in with your boo and your boo is fancying another person's boo and then big brother notices that and decided, you know what, let's separate you two and then merge these two people. Guys, that is Wahala. That is what we call premium Wahala, premium boys boys. And I'm here for it. I am here for it. Everything that is going to make this housemate fight, everything that is going to make this housemate cause chaos, I am here for it. The next thing that I want to see, that I want to talk about is, throughout the previous seasons of Big Brother, we've seen sponsor tax and I see how much this housemate wins whenever they are sponsor tax. But my problem, my issue with sponsor taxes. If you are giving this housemate sponsor task and you are splashing out 500,000, 1 million, 2 million, 5 million, whatever million you are splashing out, don't give them a menial task. Don't come there and tell them to sing. No. Don't come there and tell them to jump hoops. No. If truly you are giving out hundred uh, anything less than 500,000, this housemate should work. Because at the end of the day, yes, they are there to entertain us. But if you are just winning that cool million without putting in much effort, I've always had issue with that. Especially the super commando task. Whenever there is a super commando task, I'm always looking to see this housemate hustle. I'm always looking to see this housemate sweat. But when we get into the arena and then I see the setup, I see the game, I'm like, what is going on? My 10 year old nephew can do that with his eyes closed. So why are grown ups in their 20s, in their late 20s, in their early 30s, in their early 40s doing what a 10 year old can do? So for this season, I want to see hard competition. I want to see serious tasks. I want to see tasks that will make this housemaid use their brain. I want to see puzzles. I don't want to see three three piece puzzle or five piece puzzle i want to see 10 20 30 pieces puzzle that if at the end of the day they are done solving it and someone emerges the winner that person will beat his or her chest and be like yes i want this challenge i want this challenge that is my that is one thing i want to see i don't want to see a challenge where they just jump one two hoops and then whoo five million no no i'm not for it if you want to win 5 million, jumps 20, 30, 40 hoops. Sweat. Sweat. Show us that you are a man. Or show us that you are a strong woman. And at the end of the day, if you win that money, I will be happy and say, wow, he did an amazing job doing that tax. This is the type of tax he did. This is what he did that made him the winner. That is what I want to see. Also, alliances. I know in the previous season that we had, the All-Star season, and also the just concluded Big Brother Mzamzi that we just watched. At some point, Big Brother gave this housemate opportunity to discuss, form an alliance, and then vote. That's one thing I would like to see. That is one thing I would definitely love to see in this season. Where these housemates come together, form alliances, backstab each other, you know, that kind of thing. That is one thing I would really, really love to see. And I would also love to see Big Brother incorporate what they, what Big Brother and Zamzi do. I would like to see Big Brother and I just do it. Where these housemates come out, no more voting inside the diary room. No. I want to see these housemates in front of everybody, in front of the lounge calling out the names of the housemaid that they would like to vote or they would like to nominate and giving reasons. Guys, if that happens, if that happens, yo, 
If that happens, <laughs> premium drama. Imagine someone you consider as your alliance, someone you consider as friends, coming out, naming you as one person that he or she would like to send home. And then you leave on Sunday. <laughs> Imagine the hate. Imagine the betrayal. I want to see all that. Alliances forming, ships forming, ships crashing, betrayal, backstabbing. I want to see everything. Give it to me. That is what drama. That is what Boss Boss is all about. Guys, let me know what your thoughts are down below in everything that I've said in this video. What are your expectations? For this show remember in two weeks time just two weeks in two weeks time we are going to deprive ourselves sleep healthy sleep yes we are going to deprive ourselves healthy sleep for the next 71 days and i just want to make this thing clear before i go i know a lot of us are planning on a nationwide protest and a lot of people are going to say oh having this big brother now is going to uh take the attention of people from the main issue no big brother is an entertainment show we the viewers we know what we want as nigerians yes we have the power to protest and demand good governance but as we are protesting let us not forget that we can also have a little bit of fun we can also have a little bit of enjoyment so if you are going to come here and uh, keep saying that no big brother what are we going to learn from big brother we haven't learned anything since big brother stopped no tell me one thing you've learned just one tell me one thing you've learned since the last time we saw big brother and then just tell me did you not miss biggie's voice because me definitely i miss biggie's voice and i also miss all of you i miss each and every one of you i can't name all of you but I have my super fans, people that have stuck with me from time immemorial. And I appreciate each and every one of you. And if you are yet to become a member of this great community, the powerhouse of positivity community, you know what to do. Subscribe to this channel, turn on your post notification so you'll be notified whenever I drop a new video. And talk, share your thoughts. Have a, di have a dialogue down below in the comment section. That is how we build this community. And guys, remember, we are on the road to monetization. I promised myself that you see this season, I'm going to be working extra hard to hit that 4,000 watch hour. We are on 1.5 now. And then uh, with Big Brother starting, you never know. You never know. But one thing I'm sure of, monetization is going to be ours by the end of this year. And I'm going to be sharing all that journey with you guys whenever we hit that 4,000 watch hour. So, make sure you watch all the videos that I'll be dropping throughout this season of Big Brother. And don't just watch one minute, two minutes, watch it to the end. Because the more you watch it to the end, the more you engage every video I drop by, subscribe, by subscribing, by commenting, by liking the video, by sharing to your friend, the more YouTube algorithm promotes the video. So, Watch the video to the end. Engage the video. Share your thoughts. I know you have a lot to say whenever I drop a video. Don't shy away from it. Share that thought. 